Hey guys, my name is Courtney Budson. If you're new here, and this is What's For Din. It's that time of year. It's pumpkin everything time of year, and I ain't mad at it. <laughs> that was stupid. What a weirdo. <laughs> so I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make delicious, no-bake pumpkin pie cheesecake bites. These are so ridiculously delicious. I know you guys will agree with me once you put this in your mouth and you just go, Huh, my God, you're gonna agree with me. <laughs> and the best part about these, they are no bake, so you don't have to worry about getting the cheesecake right and making sure it doesn't crack and all that jazz. So without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, we're gonna work on our graham cracker crust. So in my food processor, I'm adding regular graham crackers, pop on the lid and give that a really good blitz. You want this to represent really fine sand. To that, I'm going to add some melted butter, Give that a good mix. Now you're looking for the consistency of wet sand, so if you can make a sand castle out of it, then that's how you know you're good to go. Now you can go ahead and line your cupcake sheet with some cupcake liners. <laughs> Seriously? Make sure you close the window so they don't all blow away. <laughs> then I like to spray it with a little bit of cooking spray, and then you can go ahead and add your crust to the cupcake liners and press it down nice and firm so that it's really nice and stiff and there's no loose crumbs. Once you have that done, you can set it aside and we are gonna work on the filling. So to the bowl of my standing mixer, I'm adding two bricks of softened cream cheese. And using the whisk attachment, I'm going to beat this until it's really nice and fluffy. You want this to be whipped, you want a lot of air in this because that's what contributes to the really delicious pumpkin cheesecake texture. So once it looks something like this, you can go ahead and add in your pumpkin puree. Now I just use regular canned, 100% pure pumpkin puree, but if you're feeling like a hero and you wanna make your own, Go for it. So give that a good mix until it's all nice and incorporated together. You might have to wipe down the size of the bowl a few times just to make sure there's no chunks of pumpkin. Now for spices, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt and of course pumpkin spice. Again, give that a good mix. We're going to add a little pinch of vanilla extract. Now to sweeten it up, we're going to add sweetened condensed milk. Now this comes in a can. This is my secret weapon, as I've said in my other no-bake recipes. This makes it creamy, it makes it sweet, and it also helps the cheesecake to set as opposed to using gelatin. Mix that in really well, and then you can give it a taste. I have a little bit of a sweet tooth, so if you like things not so sweet, feel free not to add any more sugar, but if you like things on the sweeter side like I do, go ahead and add a little bit more sugar. Now to make this even fluffier, we're adding some fresh whipped cream. You can totally use Cool Whip if you don't want to make your own. Give that a good mix together and you can see that consistency is perfect. I give it an extra taste just to make sure it's exactly where I want it. And then you can go ahead and pipe it into your cupcake liners. I like to use a piping bag only because it keeps it really clean. You can totally just use a spoon and pour it in that way. Completely up to you. Now we're gonna cover it with some plastic wrap and we're gonna put it in the freezer, not the refrigerator, to allow these to set overnight. Yes, they're gonna set before the 12 hour mark, but I just like to make these ahead of time so that they're really nice and stiff. And you can see that those wrappers come off so easy. If you put it in the fridge, this is not going to set like that. And those wrappers are not gonna come off. So they definitely need to be in the freezer. So to top it off, I'm just adding some fresh whipped cream. Like I said, you can use Cool Whip or Ready Whip or whatever you want. Top it with a little bit more pumpkin spice or cinnamon and you are ready to serve. So here is the beautiful final product. This is melting in my fingers and now it's about to melt in my mouth. <laughs> oh, come on. Now I don't know if you can see that, but it has the texture of a cheesecake pumpkin pie combo. Like I know I've been on a mini cheesecake rampage lately, but I mean, why not? They're delicious. <laughs> so if you guys do want to recreate this recipe, just look below in the description box. I'll leave all the measurements as well as the written instructions. <sighs> Take a deep breath, Gart, I ain't going too fast. And if you did like this video, don't forget to smack that like button. And as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and we'll see you next time. Peace.